I like shooting zombies. I'm trying to say Greta. Okay, Greta. Get slurped. Oh, that was nasty. Stop that, bro. Uh, this one. Colonist is still alive. An ambition is to find him, kill him. Maybe the colonist is the foreign himself. What we got? Yara and Nuama. We're in poor armor. No arm I got any aiming on here. Oh, damn, that works. Would have thought. Dolly, of course. And we're about to finish the foreign off. Oh, I'll wait for a phone call. That's gonna happen in the middle of a cutscene. That's his tradition. Hello? Anybody in here? Okay, let's go down. Got my quick scope sniper. I got a few abilities doubled up. Equipment sorted out. So cool, love. Did I even try you? Oh, it's the foreign right here. I mean, I should throw my handy. My handy. My smartphone. I'm silent. So at least it doesn't bother me when I get cold. Good. 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 Might have to cut. Anyways. Oh, hello there. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Oh Kira. my. What is that? That looks like a monster. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Wasn't as difficult as all hell. Tentacle monster. Ugh. I wouldn't get too close. Disgusting. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. Sure, that's what you say. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in the new growth. Okay. Sure. You say so. Overlords. Overkill. Where are you going? And she is gone. Nice. Over here, Commander. Definitely something different in this area. Lifted. Stay down. Yeah. 
that had Shut the up. desired effect, I believe. A few more, and it will be severely hurt. Okay. Another one. Just speak to me. Rome, no? Actually, another, sorry. I'm very afraid. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a clone. Where does she go? Uh, nowhere. Huh. Wait. <laughs> Run one meter. Will be taken. Yeah, I can go up here. So I need to go too. Oh, no! Oh, look at that. Just blown. Right in the butt. <laughs> wah wah. Right in the butt. Scopes. One point. Bone. Not four yet. Damn it, I hate. If it don't want right. But the nade. To just wait for the fall. Just throw everything in there. The uh, clarity. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh hi. Bro, damn thing. That's sure gonna work. Sorry. Yep. She missed a singularity and get one shot. Ah. Double kill. Maybe. I need Let's Chameleon, yes. Technical done. That's weird. Let's try it anyways. The wire tool, good. 
Let's go. Yeah, she's safe. Almost at 69. Upstairs, damn it. Always oh, upstairs at the moment. Ah, she got me for once. Anyways, give me turning, Commander Shepard. We're on the right track. Now we're done, right? And we just jump this safe. Why you all? I see a four. Oh, oh, poor thing. Tali's down. Let's realize that. That's unity. Let's go, Shepard. Don't disappoint me again, Tali. Fuck. No. One call. Nope. Nope. Okay. Problem at me. Huh. There she go. The singularity. Sorry, clone, overlord, big scroll. Get to cross again. Um, Let's 
run around with a shotgun. What's up with that? Okay. Still, Rachel. I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory, a viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. 
The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form, a sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Do you know what the conduit is, or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Prothean extinction. Then whatever it is, we cannot let him have it. You have the cipher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. There are many left, though. The colonists mm. will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You tried to do for us. Saved a few. It's more than most would have done. That's anyway, fun. thanks. We'll start again. Uh, was Just one person here. I accidentally hit with my grenade. They tried to build a life here. But now all they have are ruins. Not sentiment. These people are brave, but the Gath are relentless. My people know this better than anyone. Do I have his fast? No, probably not. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. No. Forgot it. We'll be gone as soon as a transport arrives. Well, you killed it. At least that's something. But there are so many of us gone. Any person of interest? No. Yeah. I will remain here until the last of your kind is gone. I am greatly ashamed for what happened here. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Why do they? Sorry, Commanders have the most boring stomachs. Brown. Blah. Okay. I believe we can just go back to the ship. Through here. Hey, Kreta. Oh, sh <laughs> I slapped her. And that made her survive. So if I merely if I would have mailed it all of them, we would have survived. <laughs> Lucky you. When I could think, I hoped more of us would survive. <gasps> oh that's how she survived. Oh the only person to get slapped. 
Sure, she survived by getting slapped. If I would have known that, ah, the next time. All of them gonna get slapped. Uh, anyways, am I going to the Normandy? All the journal says... Nothing. Investigate samples. Oh no. No. Coming back to the ship. So on I. Remain there. Two talks coming up. Three, two. Stand by shore party. Decontamination oh. in pro. Right. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I feel fine. Brain broke. Hmm. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Ah, oh, Ashley's gonna complain in a second, isn't she? Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. No? Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Bitch. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. You sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Oh boy. I saved from Puss by slapping her. That's my report. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Yes, I'm sure you're correct, Commander. It's unfortunate the colony couldn't be saved. I'm surprised, Shepard. Ferris was a human colony. I thought you'd go to any lengths to save your own kind. I would have saved the colony if I could. Didn't work out that way. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made, Commander. I'm glad you understand that. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. First time they kind of cool with me. All I had to do was kill humans. All the aliens like that. Cool. I don't know where to go next. Joker? No. We'll talk in the next episode and figuring the word. What's the journal say? No. Nobody. I guess let's look at the timer. We have still time. Full Yara talks. Yes. Let's just talk to her.
Maybe that's gonna progress the story. Chucky. Out of the way. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? No. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I can handle the responsibility of command. But if I don't stop Saren, the entire galaxy gets wiped out. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? Huh. I should That's go. It. Goodbye, Commander. Bye, Diora. I know you were flirting again. Back into the friend zone with you. Another one for the friend zone. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharos. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. All in triplicate, I'm sure. Did you want to see me? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. <laughs> they probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Hmm. The spark kicked him with chaotic force. That's kind of badass. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Ah, yeah, right. Just not me and you. Mm. You're done. Safe. Last nice meeting for in. What a creep. And got it. Salt. 